This is the best eraser ever for colored pencil. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind Law Cree Fine Art. This is the Faber-Castell Perfection Eraser. Today I'm going to show you why it's better than any other eraser for colored pencil and how to get the most out of it. But before we get started, I do want to let you know, just for transparency, Faber-Castell had sent me in the past, it was a couple of years ago, some of these, but I've also purchased many, many, many more on my own. I have no idea if this was one they sent to me or one I purchased, but I just wanted to be transparent about that so there's no, like, Lisa's being shady and didn't mention that Faber-Castell sent her some. They did, but this is not a sponsored video. They actually have no idea I'm making this. You guys have seen me use these erasers for years in my work, but you may have seen it in a different form. This is the one that my friend Conejo had sent me, actually many, I probably have 50 of them, from Mexico that have the, the it's like a lime green casing. He said you can, he can't find these down there anymore, but if you've seen me use this, it's the exact same eraser. I shouldn't say exact. That's like the people who say literally, but they don't actually mean literally. So it's not literally the exact same eraser. This, the eraser itself is, the casing is going to be a cream color and it's got a handy little brush, which you're going to see soon why it is amazing. When I first saw these available with the brush on it, I thought, it seems kind of wasteful. I'll just use my, my drafting brush to wipe away eraser marks. You know what I can never find? My drafting brush. This is way better. Let's head over to the studio so I can show you how to get the best results with this eraser. So I'm starting with two samples. I've got one where I've burnished the color in where you're pushing really hard with the pencil and then one where I've blended with odorless mineral spirits. So the first thing I wanna show you is if you try to blend with your normal eraser that works fine for graphite, it doesn't, it just kind of smudges it back and forth. It'll lift it, but there's a, it, it's not quite the same if you can see how this starts to gum up versus just, erasing cleanly. Now, another thing, don't use your hand whenever you're working in colored pencil, graphite, whatever, do not use your hand and it is a hard habit to break. Don't use your hand to wipe away eraser marks. You can smudge it. There, I'll just to show you an example. Using your hand to push that away, you can see my smudges here. If you use the back of the perfection eraser or even a drafting brush will work too. A paint brush will work. Any kind of brush, wipe your eraser marks away that way to keep from, let's see, can you see that? It's kind of, I think the camera's washing it up. You can kind of see the smudges. It's pretty bad in person. This eraser doesn't leave those gunky marks like a normal white eraser will. Same thing over here. We can see how that lifts on an area where it's been burnished. Now this is not going to lift back completely to white, but what it will do, let's say I had my white polychromos. Now we know polychromos white tend to be a bit more translucent being that it's an oil base. That's about how much that pencil is gonna show up there. Same thing over here. You barely see it, not a whole lot shows up. Even if we go to our most opaque white colored pencil, which is the Derwent Drawing Chinese White, it lightens it, but it's not really going to get it. It just lightens the color that's under. Same thing up here. It shows up, but it's not, you're not going to get back to white. So what we want to do instead, take our eraser, erase the area that you want to really lighten up. Now, when we go over this with white, Look how much more that shows up. It's not white, white, but it's still really bright. If we go over with the Chinese, the Derwent Drawing Chinese white, it's even brighter. So let's say you needed to do whiskers on an animal. If you were to use just your white pencil, it will show up. But if we instead erase lightly with the eraser first, what we're doing is ex we're removing some of the waxiness or oiliness of the pencil, exposing more of the tooth of the paper. And so it's not that we're, we're really getting that paper back to white, but we will lift enough that when we go on top of it with the white, the white will show up much, much better. Now, of course, to go back to completely white, I would use the Touch Up Texture Titanium White Mixture. I will have a card pop up to show you that video. It's actually how I do whiskers and tiny bits of fur too. But this is an alternative. This is a must have pencil for me with colored pencil, even when you're using, let's say I want something pretty white. Let's go over it a little bit more. I can get that if I really work the area. Now don't overwork it. If you go too much, you can damage the tooth of your paper. But if I lift that up, look how much I can get this white pencil to show up. And that's the white polychromos. We know white polychromos is not super opaque. 
but look how nicely that shows up versus over a non-erased area. I'm putting the same amount of pressure. You can really see now the difference between an area where I've lifted with the fabric has spell perfection eraser. Now, why does this one work so much better than your normal white erasers? This one is more like an ink eraser. It's got more, it's gritty, a much grittier feel. Now the goal here again is not to get our paper back to completely white. That is not going to happen. What our goal is, is to create enough tooth back in the paper, remove some of that colored pencil so that we've got that tooth back. And then when we go over with the white pencil, let's go over with a more opaque white, you'll see how well this will stand out. No matter what brand of pencils you're using, this is the eraser to go with. Look at, wow, look at that one. This is the one drawing Chinese white. So again, my most opaque white pencil. Look how bright that is. That really shows up well. And it's almost as white as the paper. Not quite, but it is close. That little brush is so convenient because I get way too lazy and just use my hand way too often and create smudges when it, I don't have the brush attached to the eraser. That's absolutely genius. Good job, Faber-Castell. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video sharing all of the different white colored pencils and which ones are more opaque and more translucent. Is that a new coral? How much did you spend on that? Is that a new shrimp? How much was that? Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's around has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, YouTube will probably still not notify you when new content goes up. So also click on the bell notification icon. Leave a comment if you like the video. If you didn't, just move, move along. I just, I'll, I'll erase you too.